Hello everyone, this is Mouse Plays Games. We're back with more Yokai Watch 1. And as you can see, we've got a new objective down there, heading to Timers and More. We started a new chapter um, that'll have us upgrading our Yokai Watch. But before that, uh, we've done a little preparation uh, before I started recording here. And we're going to go into the Cranky High with a couple of new coins, actually, that we haven't used yet. We've got the Sapphire Coin, the Emerald Coin, the Ruby Coin, the diamond coin and the topaz coin, as well as four special coins. So we're gonna do we're gonna do all nine of these today. Now I know what you might be thinking. Last episode we only got three cranks. Why is there suddenly nine of them? Well, I don't like the fact that Yokai Watch One only has three cranks. So as we get the sapphire bell here, I'm gonna basically admit I've changed that. I've fixed it because in the in the later games it can be as little as three cranks but it's also a random kind of dice roll sort of thing or basically a predetermined order once you start the game that can give you as much as 30 cranks per day so you know i don't like the fact that it's three and only three in this game and i'm going to i'm going to play as though that's not a factor of course i'm not going to do a billion cranks every day um but today we're going to get these special items here these special bells uh, which will allow us to fight and recruit certain yokai. Which will be later in the game, of course, not right now. Um, we're still quite, we're still not very strong by any definition. So we won't be fighting these right away. Um, and we're also going to do our four special coins uh, for the actual cranks. And hopefully we'll recruit some nice yokai out of them. So let's let's crank these though and get our different different bells uh, for each coin because they will be strong yokai we can use down the line. Of course, the topaz bell. Now, how we actually got these special coins here um, is through Piggleston Bank down in uh, Springdale. Uh, what it allows us to do is scan QR codes that come with the physical merch uh, that Yokai Watch released. Uh, there were five different medals uh, for what are called the Gemnion uh, qu Quintet. And basically what they are is they're cat yokai. They look like Jibanyan, but each of them is a different type of gem. Uh, basically corresponding with the coins that we use there. And they're very hard to get. Uh, you can't actually get them over the course of the game. In order to get them, you kind of need to use those five coins. And they're QR codes that they have on the back. Oh, you're going to head off for now? Okay. Hopefully I'll see you later. Take care. Um, but the special coins, uh, you can get them through certain certain QR codes as well. But they're they're a bit more common. I'm not sure if there's any actually in the game. I, th I think they might also be QR code only, but they're still definitely interesting. So we've got Chummer as our first as our first yokai bull here, and he wants to be Chums. Chummer. Okay, okay. Uh, what do you think we should name this guy, Chat? What do you th What do you think would be a good name for? For this shark fellow here. Uh, we'll look at the randoms as we do with every every new friend we make. We've got Chumba. We've got Finnegan. We've got Grazor. And we've got Chumper. Delta game says Plankton. You know what? I kind of like that. I kind of... I think, I think that's the one we're going to go with here. He does kind of have that... <laughs> that vibe to him. So he's part of the Slippery Tribe, which is the light blue, uh, the light blue color. That very much fits him as a shark. Three more here. Let's see what the next one brings us. 
We've got a purple capsule. And it's Espy. I foresaw you getting me out. In fact, I have been waiting for you. Of course, we will be naming this one as well. Let's check out the randoms. Look, see, is Merida, Try I, and Satori. Hmm. You know what? I actually kind of like that name. I'm not sure what exactly it means in the context of, you know, how it how it relates to this yokai, but I think it's a I think it's a nice name, and I think I think Satori is a nice name for this one. So let's finish up with a couple more of them. This time we get a gold capsule. Could it be another S rank? It is. It's a duplicate. Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, we've gotten a duplicate, which is not amazing. But, you know, we can't have two of the same on... We can't have two of the same on the team. Uh, duplicates, I'm not keen on using, though, so we're actually not going to name them. And we'll, we'll, we'll proceed to our last coin here. I was hoping for no duplicates, but you really can't tell what you're going to get with these sorts of things. It's a black capsule. That's definitely got to be an S rank. And it's... <gasps> Yes! Okay, this is what I was looking for. Frostdale is one of my absolute favorites in Yokai Watch 1. Frostdale, Frostail, the lovely fox. The adorable Kitsune. We are nicknaming you. What is your random names first? Dogon, which is not happening. Isaac, which is interesting but not happening. K-Niner, which is probably not happening. And Taylor, which is very on the nose, but not happening. Hmm. Well, it is definitely an ice type yokai with that. Or an ice ma it what is use it uses ice techniques. For some reason cerulean comes to mind. I like that. I like that. You know what, Vano? We're going with it. Wait, wait, but <laughs> I blanked for a second. Hold on. And it just fits too. I think that's the perfect name for our definite new team member. Because you can bet, they're going on the team. They are of the Mysterious Tribe, as well as SP for that matter. And they are also one of our Legendary Seals. Which we're definitely going to be activating before the time runs out here. Before our Let's Play is finished. So yes, as you can see... The Cranky Kai remains. We might also do some cranks at the end of this episode if I, if I feel like it. But for now, uh, we're going to continue on. Because, as mentioned, we have a goal. Head to Timers and more. So, let's do that. And along the way, we'll probably pick up a couple of side quests. Use play coins? I mean, I could do that. I don't know if I have any, though, actually. Because with the 3DS, of course, you get play coins by walking around. But I can't do that with this. Okay, I don't have enough play coins. I need at least 10. Of course, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I don't really have play coins. And from what I remember playing this the first time, play coins don't really give good rewards. Um, they're kind of, kind of lackluster, I'll say that. Uh, but let's pick up a side quest here from the Talisman Man. For years now, you've been caring for the cats that live on Mount Wildwood. Something is causing trouble at their feeding grounds. Okay. Let's, let's help them out. T 
talisman man man okay well question is where is their feeding ground can i look can i look at be nice to cats yes Okay, so it's up on the miner's path is where that quest is. Okay, so it's up here. Can we go that way yet? Yeah, I wonder. We will indeed put Cerulean in. Uh, there is an Ipo back there. I guess I could have done that right away, but I think I'm just going to tackle this side quest first. Let's see, the miner's path is up here, right? Up to the left. Nope. I heard a reaction. Let's get closer to it here. Right, here we are. We found Mangemut. One we have actually seen before at a certain yokai spot. They're um quite a suspicious looking character, I'll say that much. So it looks like they want to fight. And that's fine by me. Let's take them out. Can we... Okay, can't befriend them. That makes sense. Let's go with one of our ultimate attacks here and take him, take him down. It is a very weird looking dog. Oh, we missed the wisp there. Pretty sure though, since you've said you've played this, you you said you adore these game styles. So do you actually do you actually know what Mangemut is, or what like their explanation for why they look like that? in the anime is the same as the game yeah um i'm pretty sure and feel free to correct me if i'm wrong of course but i believe that the yokai known as jin Menken is actually kind of a i think that the human face dog thing is not just unique to him i think it's actually like directly taken from japanese folklore that humans and dogs used together are kind of just like that? I'm not sure. But yes, his Japanese name, Jin Menken, I believe it's just wholesale the name of an unedited name of a yokai in Japanese folklore. Um, I'd have to look up the uh, actual details on that, but I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that's just kind of a direct lift sort of thing. Anyway, we get a strength talisman from our friend here. And we've completed the quest. Now with our completed quest in the last part, we've we actually got very lucky with these bonus cutscenes uh, that that come after every quest completed. Um, I'm wondering if we'll actually continue our streak though. Cause so far it's been all success and jackpots. Let's see what happens. I don't know why, but our luck is absolutely unparalleled. And we get a green coin. Okay, well, you know what? Since we're still here, uh, we got a cranky guy coin. Let's throw it in there. I see no reason why not. 
We have gotten so lucky with those, though. So the green coin, um, actually, before I use this, the green coin there uh, says it's a warm coin because, you know, warm and fuzzy feelings. Uh, if we look at, I hit the wrong button, okay. If we look at our yokai medallion here, every yokai that you can see has a tribe based on the color of its medals. And also in the top left corner of the top screen there. So this one, Mysterious, is yellow. Brave is red. Slippery is the light blue. Charming is pink. Heartful is the green. Purple is for Eerie. And there are actually a couple of others as well. Uh, there's the Shady, which is dark blue. And there's Tough Tribe, which is orange. So each one of those tribes has its own color coin. So we're likely to get a heartful yokai from this, if not an item. I don't know if it'll be a very strong one, though. We'd have to be very lucky for that. Yeah, this is just a plain gray capsule. Okay. So we get an item. A basic item. Game is wholly responsible for your love of Gatchapon and your desire to test your love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, that's what the crank guys really are, you know? They're just, they're just Gatchapon machines that don't require money. Uh, anyway, let's stop here before we go, actually. Because, as mentioned before, we do want to... Well, let's save the game. We've done our cranks for a bit, so let's save that first. And we want to swap. Let's take out one of you two. Knowing this, these games, there's probably a few kind okay, of don't fit into the normal tribes. There could be. There could be. So we'll set him there because he's mysterious. And you know what? Let's bring along our other cool dog for a bit. Just to give him some training. Because why not? Why not? You know? Okay. So with that, it's back off Mount Wildwood. We've got to go into town to find this timers and more for our main quest objective. Frostdale is cool, but it is, yes, unfortunately, level one. Um, no loaf we can add attack that never misses. Is that what Frostdale's... I hit the wrong button again. Is that what Frostdale's skill is? Uh, hold on. Oh, it does. It never misses. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I actually want to put you on the front lines. Frostdale never misses. He really don't. He really don't miss. So yes, let's pick up a couple of quests along the way here. You look like the arch nemesis type. Want to take our challenge? We'll get something really cool if we win? Okay, sure. Springdale Kids Detective Team. Okay. So let's be the villains, huh? Between a pig and a lamb, underneath the underneath the white zebra stripes, I sleep. Okay, okay. Oh, Detective Quest 1, so there'll be more in the future. Interesting. Well, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where that is, in fact. Um, so let's go and take a look. Let, let's confirm my hypothesis here. Oh, there's a... hold on. I actually noticed a couple of these back when I was up on Mount Wildwood. These little strange things here are actually treasure boxes. They're items. So if we ever see any of these, we want to make sure to open them. Um, cause they, they might give us something nice. Those quests took you ages to beat? Well, we're about to beat the first one in record time then. Uh, so first of all, we have this quest that we got last time, or in our last part. So let's give him the soul tea this time.
You want some curry bread? Oh, okay. You're just setting up a joke. It doesn't curry favor with you. <laughs> Very funny. There we go. And that'll give us that'll give at least a couple of levels to our two new friends. And we've got burgers for that one. Nice. Oh, I think this might be our first. Yep, this is, this is our first bonus cutscene failure, and that means we get no item, unfortunately. But that's fine. We enjoyed crazy luck for the first few, so that's not unexpected. Um, but for now, let's see here. I'm gonna go right down here because if I if you recall the bank is called Pagelston Bank and the post office here has a big old sheep on it right on the front so it's between here and beneath the white zebra stripes okay so where would we see the stripes of a white zebra other than here where the crosswalk is and sorry to that car that it's just kind of stopped there because I'm sitting in the middle of the road but hey there we go that is the first detective quest So we'll go up here quickly and turn this quest in before we go to the proper place. Oh, car. Now, actually, where was that quest? Hold on. It was up here, right. go levels upon levels let's see our bonus scene oh looks like it's gonna be another one of these are we just gonna get these all in a row for now goodness our good luck has ended apparently right so now that that's done, it's back to our main quest. And we actually have to go over here, which has been blocked off for us until now. This is the first time we get to leave this, this uptown map here. Which leads to whole new areas with a whole new different array of things. And the first is this candy store, which I'm actually going to stop here and get a couple of these from. They are a good item for recruiting. But our destination is actually right down here. As you can see on the map. Might remember picking a few fights? Yeah, yeah. We'll probably need some experience sooner or later. But I think we might be okay for now. After all, you know, all the all the yokai around us are at best, you know, E rank and D rank once we upgrade. And we've got multiple S ranks on our team, you know, which are just more powerful from the beginning. So here's Mortimer Goodsight. Someone has apparently been working with yokai for generations now. 
um, fixing the yokai watch, and I think he actually also made it as well. I'm pretty sure that's what the game told us. Is that bear moving? Yeah, I think it only might be. Don't worry about it. So yes, Mr. Goodsight here can see not only the inner workings of various clocks and timers, but he can also see yokai, just like we can. And he's actually a yokai. All right, so apparently we're gonna need some special parts. So yes, this bear indeed is moving, but that's because it's not really a bear. It's another one of our friend, Babylon. They seem to like to take the forms of bears. And they probably have a lot of things to tell us. So let's see what he has to say. Time is a more, more like time is a bore. <laughs> okay, tell us about Blossom Heights. Is a temple. Okay, at the top of all those stairs. Well, you can take two things and turn them into one thing. It's what they call fusion. Okay. That was totally not funny. You have no idea how sorry I am right now. And yes, this is a mechanic that we've seen once before um, when doing a side quest for Jibanyan. We actually did see a C-rank watch lock um, in a certain alleyway behind the fish store. No spoilers, please. Okay, so that's actually interesting. Um, apparently up here is someone with quite interesting powers pertaining to yokai. Um, we'll definitely end up visiting them more than once. But for now, hmm, what, do, what yokai do we have here? Okay, there's you. There's you two as well. Oh, I guess we're fighting this one. This one is actually interesting. Popsicle is adorable. And they'll be able to evolve in the future, so I think I want to get hold of one of them. Uh, let me take a look and see what their favorite food is, because I don't know if I have it or not. Okay, this has them all in alphabetical order. That's perfect. Okay, so your favorite is ramen. I don't know if we have any of that. Let's see. Item. Do we have... No, we don't. Okay. Tell me about their least favorite? No, okay. Well, let's try one of these. Maybe, maybe they might like this neutrally, and that'll work enough. And let's take a look at your ultimate move, because we haven't seen it before. Arctic Abyss. Ooh. Okay. So that's an AoE target for ice attacks. Oh. Just missed that wisp, okay. There we go. And we didn't get the recruit, that's fine. There's a treasure chest here. Let's grab that. Skill compendium, okay. There's also a couple of them here. Some fresh milk. And a giant cracker. There's also the 
this trash can was actually a yokai. It's ache. They want a battle too. Okay. Actually, hold on. There we go. Sometimes that will happen when we're trying to purify a yokai. Uh, we won't actually need to do a mini game. It'll just give us the experience right off the bat. Didn't get done in time. That's fine. There we go. Couple of items. Good bit of experience. Is that another cup? Well, it was. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again with these ones. Yokai personalities? I mean, I do know a little bit, yes. I knew that I do know that certain ones mean they'll have a proclivity a proclivity to take certain actions during battle, if that's what you mean. Um, but you wanna share a fun fact? That's fine. You can go ahead. Share freely. Share freely. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna target this one and try to keep them. We'll try, to, we'll try to keep it in this battle long enough to use a second item on the other, the other puppo. Oh, there's a golden wisp. Okay, those are, those are important. We want to, we want to target, <laughs> we want to get the wisp before we do anything else, because that'll give items. And we do manage to do this. So let's try and get a let's try and get one of them recruited. So those rare items that we got from the Golden Wisps, I don't remember what they actually do. Uh, we got two opals and a sticker of hate. Crosstail is showing up. And we get a popsicle! How lovely. Popsicle. He is absolutely so cold right now. Uh, we will, of course, nickname this total cutie right here. He's blended, he's Oscar, he shivers, or he's slushy. Probably freeze instead of warming up. Yeah, it seems like he'd be quite cold, quite cold. Uh, what do you think is a good name for him, though? Hmm. Oh. So we're gonna get only okay able to heal can get the tender prison eye, which makes them heal more often, but there's a single healer which can get the brainy one due to a programming bug, which makes it use its skill way more often. Huh. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Which is, which is that healer? Um I I would like to know what their name is. If I could get a hold of one, that would be kind of interesting. Snowpaw? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty on the nose. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, dog breeds. And what, what puns we could make with ice or snow or cold... Healer is Shadow Benoct. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. We'll definitely be getting a hold of one of those uh, before this playthrough is up. So I'm kind of, kind of excited. Definitely want to grab that. Hmm.
trying to remember. Oh, he's just because he's a reskin and Venom to his identity skill. And he forgot to change personality restrictions. Oh, interesting. Yeah, something has slipped under the radar then. Nice, nice. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're gonna call this cutie... I think I think I figured out the, figured out the name for. Her. Actually, you know what? No, this one this one's going to be this one's going to be the this one's going to be Balto, and we're gonna name we're gonna name Jenna a different one for a reason that you will definitely you will definitely see. But for now, this snowy dog's becoming Balto. I think that's a really good name. They are very charming indeed, alongside Jabanyon in that tribe. So, let's see, back to our mission here. We've got to go to the bike shop for one of the items. So let's see what the arrow down here is. Is this the shop that we're looking for? I think it might be. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we got the wash screw, which is very appropriately themed in its design. There's also, oops, there's also one of the items here, maybe? Alright, we got the watch spring. Nice. Wandering yokai will visit the old wayfarer manor. Okay. Oh, a straight past future. Okay. Well, we're not going to use this one, this little feature, any, unfortunately, because we won't be street passing anybody. <laughs> and plus, you know, you can't befriend any S ranks or rare yokai, so. That kind of takes away a lot of the clientele that we'd be hoping to meet, you know? Anyway, it looks like our last destination is way up here on the temple path. Street Pass feature is the only way to get a certain yokai? Oh, really? Hold on. Because if there's, if there's one that is actually exclusive, hold on, let me, um, let me, let me Google that, because I'll need to prepare that for next stream as well. Oh, right. that one okay well I'll try and figure out a workaround for that reminds you of a feature you're so glad they added to the world ends with you where is Jokai in the game right there? yeah yeah well we'll be able to figure out a workaround for that I'm sure uh, because I will want to show them off even if I don't end up using them uh, but what's this what's this feature in the world ends with you that you like Vano Oh, we got a couple of items here. Not surprising. Bamboo shoots. 
They are they are a food item. They will help us recruit you, okay? It's locked, okay. And there's an S rank watch lock right here. Okay. So this is gonna be an endgame thing that you'll probably have to remind me about, because I don't know if I'll remember this. Um That'll be our that'll be after we get our final upgrade. Alright, so this is the old mansion. It is indeed a yokai dungeon. So I'm going to save here in case we get thoroughly wiped. Ooh, I, I can't wait to remember what's behind there. Um, definitely don't want... You know, I've, I, I have played this before, for sure. But uh, a lot of things I don't remember. So spoilers for that sort of thing I would not appreciate. Um, despite this not being a first playthrough, you know, my memory of this game is not perfect. Okay. Oh, we got a couple of earrings around here. I don't want to fight them too much, really, though, unfortunately. Mostly because I just have no interest in recruiting them. If you level up pins in the game, you need to get three types of XP. Battle XP, shutdown XP, and social EXP. Of course, if you're interested in the presence, the last one's a pain to get. Yeah, okay. So, is there any other doors we can go to? Yeah, there's this way, okay. I don't want to go back into that room. Our goal is this room here. Okay. Well, we got an item, but we're gonna get into a battle here. We got Snuff so long, Handle, and Dewana. Okay. Added something that makes the last one easier. Okay. If you leave it in social mode long enough, you may get randomly get visited by an alien that gives you some social EXP. Okay. Huh, that's actually really neat. Yeah, I never I never played uh, any of the DS versions of The World Ends With You. Uh, the first time I played it was the final remix on Switch. Azura Sun, welcome to the stream. Yes, indeed. I am, I and my friend Delta here, we're both huge fans of Yokai Watch, and I'm glad to see that I'm glad to see that people are coming from the game category here cuz this is still one of my favorite favorite 3DS games. This whole series, in fact, definitely take definitely has re top rank for, you know, 3DS game series. You're of the opinion that the DS version is the best, at least combat wise? Yeah, I mean, that's certainly fair. That's certainly fair. <laughs> Where's Pikachu? Pikachu doesn't fucking exist. Pikachu is dead, Knack. He's dead. He just got back into it last month. Yeah, yeah. I'm still, I'm still holding on to hope against hope. That they localize the fourth game. They bring it to the West. You know. You just fuse Signable with a tyrant? I don't know who either of those yokai are. Uh, do do take care, Azura Sun. Um, this is not my first playthrough. I do I do like know these games sort of. I know a lot of things about these games. Um, but for people whose first time or haven't seen this before. Uh, do care. Do take care not to drop spoilers in the chat, please. Thank you. Um, uh, we're not gonna name this one because I don't think we'll ever be using this. But he is a new yokai. Yeah, for that matter, that isn't in this game. That's true. 
Um, so just be careful of casual spoilers like that, uh, if you would be so kind. Anyway, I actually fell through a hole through the fell in a hole in the floor, uh, which I didn't need to do. So we'll have to go back here. Okay, yeah, there's that there. Uh, is that the only way to go? No, we can go this way. And there's a hole above us, it looks like. I want to make sure to get all these treasure boxes if I can. Age charm, nice. Okay. Um, is that the only... Oh. Okay. These jokers need to get it on my way. Oh, that was too too much deviance in the pattern. There we go. Alright, let's get these clowns out of our way and move along. Crossdale showing off with the big damage that we love to see. Okay. So it looks like the only way down is there. But, hmm, I don't see any doors here either. Do I actually have to go down here? Because it takes us back to this room, which I'm not sure I can even get into at all. Hmm. I think I'm finding myself a little bit lost here. I don't remember this area very well. This just leads to back here, right? Which we don't want to do. So I think, yeah, we have to go up here. And that's a thing I don't know. We're just gonna leave. We don't need this fight. Okay, so another hole in the attic. Yeah, there's, there probably is, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing where, oh, wait, that's a hole. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that leads us to down here with two more treasure boxes. Ooh, we got the old mansion key. That's gonna be useful. That's what we were looking for. That's where we need to go now. What is in the other one? We've got the worn bangle. Nice. And that leads outside. We can open this door now. What's in here, though? Can't forget this. Another green coin! <laughs> nice. That might give us a reason to go back to the cranky guy. If we should feel like it. But for now, back to the entrance. And through the door. We have Baku. Or they will identify themselves as such. I remember this one. They're quite they're quite a well known one as far as the series go. He also might look kinda of familiar. Um at least to some people. Indeed. I 
wonder how many yokai in this series keep their Japanese name in English. I mean, there's probably a few. There's probably a few. I could think of QB as probably one. Baku. My new Pokemon? Yeah, Komasan? Maybe, maybe. They are two of my favorites. I'm not sure about their Japanese names, though. As you can see, I've got them kind of chilling in the background there. Providing us quite a lovely background, indeed. But actually, is their Japanese name the same? Yeah, okay. Komasan, yeah. Battle's complete. Your face is tasty. Anyway, looks like we made another friend. Baku is part of the Charming Tribe. Despite all of those teeth. Those teeth are still a little unnerving considering it thinks our face looks tasty. Alright, so what are your random names? Let's see. We have Dreeter, Barney, Bite, and Crunchy. Uh, okay, I don't think any of those are gonna work out here. I mean, yeah, I certainly would too. Need some serious teeth to eat nightmares. You know what? That's certainly fair. That's certainly fair. Uh, Azrael, how about you name this one? What, what, what do you think this name should be? Since you're a new viewer, I'm very inclined to give you the naming rights. What do you think, Azarel? Do you have any good names for a Baku? I don't think they'll be going on the team, but I still want to name them because they are an important one to the story. Their name will be because they got a big mouth. <laughs> Or if anyone else has any other suggestions, I will also gladly hear them out. Uh, so please feel free to suggest names if, it, if we're if we're coming up on a naming screen. Uh, don't wor don't worry about prompting. Just go ahead and shout them out. I'll, I'll happily take name suggestions. Drawing a blank. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. 
Hmm. Who's the name of that guy in um Mario and Luigi Dream Team? The the name of the villain. Does anyone remember? I can't I can't remember what it I can't remember what it is. But I think and Tasma. That's okay. Yeah, that that's the name I'm gonna go with. I like. I think that name will work for this 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 little uh, this little bean here. I'm gonna call them and Tasma. You remember because it's theme slaps. Yeah, it does. It does. go and we get the watch cog which is also quite on theme there we go so that's all the parts we need Let's go and get our upgrade right quick. It's not right. Indeed. So now, we don't have to stop go going out at... <clears throat> we don't have to go home uh, when nighttime rolls around. Indeed. But the nighttime brings out certain weird feelings. Doesn't it? Two. One. Zero. So this is a feature of the game that is only unlocked once we're able to go out at night. It is terror time. In which the whole town itself becomes what is basically a yokai dungeon. Except our goal this time is not to battle our way through, but to run like we've never run before. Because we cannot fight that. That big bad guy. Something bad happened, yep. So that is, quite obviously, an Oni. A very big red one. By the name of Ogreless. And our goal is to evade them 
as well as all the small evil looking wisps around the map there what they will do is detect us and basically sound an alarm that'll keep us from going anywhere we need to so the problem is they're kind of posted at every cross street here which means we need to be a bit creative in how we go about this because if we get caught we're kind of screwed we're kind of scuppered So what I'm going to try and do is wait for this guy to go out of the way here. We'll go past him. Is there is there a yokai down here? No, there's only a treasure chest. Okay. Let's try and get the treasure chest. Which is a dancing star. And then we'll go around here to get away from the yokai advancing on us. I'm going to try and get through this without getting caught, if we can. But if I am going to get caught, I don't want it to be at the bottom of the map here. Considering my goal is the exit near the top. So let's try. We can't fight the Odino. Um, no. Not right now, certainly enough. Uh, if, we tr if we do get caught and it catches us, it's a battle that we will instantly lose um, with our current state. There will be no there will be no chance that we can beat them in this in this state. Yeah, he's way above my pay grade. That's basically that's basically it. And I also Oh. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, that set off the alarm. He 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 knows where we are now. Um, but it makes all the other alarms disappear. So he'll start chasing after us. And our goal is basically to follow this red arrow that we're pointing towards and we have to run. Like, absolute hell. Fortunately, we're going to make it. Nope. It's this guy again. Okay, well, that's valuable information. No, he's not part of the government. Goodbye, serpent ninja. Anyway, he did spawn a door for us, which is exactly where we want to go. To safety. Been what or been who or been friend? <laughs> so yes, as mentioned, that is terror time. It's a special kind of nightmare. Oni are physical representations of a dreamer's fears and worries. You'll wake up with a stronger heart if you escape from an Oni. Okay, but if you don't escape, you'll wake up back in your bed. You will have missed the chance to grow stronger. Okay. This whole thing is a nightmare. Don't get greedy. Don't get spotted. And get the heck out. Indeed not. Anyway, as far as I know, terror time can only happen once per night. Um, so I think we're basically free and clear from this point on. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's the case. So let's go back here and take a look. All right. So 
So there's a yokai here, obviously. Yeah, terror time is once per night. Okay, thanks, Delta. That's good to know. And it looks like these this yokai is quite the big one, based on that aura. We have found Sprink. Oh, yeah. Sprink loves the hot soak after a hard day. It was. It was just one yokai. And they really like bass. Hey, keep it down over there. Don't make Sprint get out of this tub and settle you down yourself. You interrupt Sprint's soak and dead demand Sprint's new undies? Looks like Sprink is gonna have to make an example out of you. All right, big time boss fight. The second one of our playthrough. We've got Sprink. Now, as you can see, he does have a weak point, but normally he hides it with those tubs he's carrying. So we're gonna have to actually target up here instead. If we can get a pin on that. And he's gonna hide his face, which will allow us to target the real weak point. deal enough damage as we just did. Oh wait, no, I hit the wrong button. Oh. Yeah, he is kind of a lot like King Hippo, isn't he? Okay, we're gonna move Cerulean out here. Hold on. Okay, wait, they already got healed. Never mind. Okay. There's, there's a lot of things going on. I'm trying to keep up here as best as I can. Uh, we gotta purify you, though. Then we gotta get this. And then we gotta get this. And we're gonna use Hercules this time. Oh, he missed. Okay, now let's finish this with Cerulean. Come on. Hit him where it hurts. And give him what for. There we go. So yeah, S-Rank, Yokai, they're really strong. And that eliminates a lot of need for level grinding, which is actually kind of useful. Yeah, Cerulean is kind of... A little bit busted. A little bit busted. The reason why is one of my favorites. A very good reason. Why? All Sprink wanted was a long boil in a hot, hot bath. Oof. We obtained his underwear. How do I have Frosty into this early? Yeah, she is in the crank. She's part of the five star coin. That's also why we have Crunch, uh, Anti-Heart, and Frostale. If only she were that easy to get, I don't know. Oh, you mean like the Yokai Metal? Is it actually kind of rare to get that one in particular? Amazing, she's Gashbon. Oh... Okay. 
Never came in a pack, right, right. I think the rarest Yokai medal I have, as in like a physical one, is Azure Dragon, actually. Uh, it's quite a nice one. I'm pretty sure I also have one of the green Jibanyan medals from the physical purchase of Yokai Watch 2. Hiding somewhere. But I'm not I haven't seen that one in a while, so maybe I lost it by accident. I never really I never really was big on collecting the medals. Uh, just because of how expensive they were, you know, never really had too much value to me. In terms of rarity, it is your ties between my anime and the Ace World Hubbard and Strike and the Monster. Yeah, the, the Hubbard and Metal. Wasn't that from the movie event? I'm pretty sure there was a Hubbernan that came out during the movie. I never got that one, unfortunately. But what we do have is a watch upgrade. So, we're now rank D. Watch rank shows the level of our yokai watch. We can encounter stronger yokai when it goes up. You only wanted certain medals of yokai you really liked, and most of them are super common to find. Yeah, yeah. Do you have, do you have a fair number of them, Delta? Do you have a nice collection? about a dozen or two or a dozen or so plus a few I have in a box in your closet huh nice nice you're on to something with popularity you somehow amassed three copies of Jibonyon and Jibonyon Z by accident in the past month oh my goodness you have three copies of it dang can now accept the quest fusion time at the temple Ooh. Exciting. Yeah, I would probably like to collect more if I could, like, you know, track down a way to get them for, you know, on the cheap. Because I've looked on eBay before. I've looked, you know, for the either, even blind bags and, like, just medals that have already been opened. But they're all so expensive. People really like to overstate the value of them. Pretty affordable. You got 168 of them used for seven bucks. Azuril, I might need to talk to you on Discord then. Because if I could get a couple of those for myself on the cheap and expand my collections, I might actually be interested in that. Um here, let me do let me do this. I'll give you the Discord link. I would love if you showed up there and contact me after the stream. I would love if you contact me after the stream and we can, and I can look at what you've got. Cause I would love to collect a few more, you know. Anyway, back to the game here. We've got two new characters, or characters we haven't quite seen much of, rather. Um, our friend Bear looks to be in quite a bit of trouble, losing his father's and mother's ring. You bought only buy a Shopee? Oh. Well, what I'm saying is, if you have a ton of... If you have... Do you still have that, like, big collection of 168 is what I'm asking? Because I, I might like to buy off you. <laughs> I might like to buy off you, indeed. If, it, if it's possible. Oh, you can't ship stuff from there? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, 
Your favorite metal is your Pantanoco. Oh. It's your personal good luck charm. Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. Yeah, there are probably a lot of metals I would like to collect. Um, just of the really cute... The really cute metals. You know? But... My favorite yokai list is basically hundreds long at this point with these games. They just keep releasing more and more. They're all so adorable. Oh, yeah, proposed. I think he's just... Bear, Bear's got a bit of an accent, I think. Your favorite metal is probably the gold neon that came with your medallion. I don't know. Clearly Bear does. <laughs> It's your third one after Chanson and Mad Mount. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a funny, he's, he's, a, he's a funny guy, yeah. You guys have got me all worked up now. I want to go and look for yokai medals again. I want to try and find some and order them myself. <laughs> you guys have got me in a collecting mood. Alright, time to go looking for a Kappa, but not that Kappa. The ring in the pond. Alright. Better stop off at the store first. Oh, you know what? You actually might be right. Well, you know what? There's a, just so happens there's a convenience store right here. Let's see. Do you got any cucumbers? You don't. <laughs> Person who's horrible with money just says you. Yeah, volume over price. I feel like that's certainly fair. Um, you know, my my main problem with it was that they were very expensive. So I'm not I'm not about to drop like ten dollars plus on a single one. But like, yeah. I am going to actually buy them. Let's see, what else do they have here? Uh, yeah, okay. So none of these are huge amounts of recruit points. Um, so that's fine. That's all we need for now. Let's uh, do a quick game save, though. metal you bought for more than a dollar was your QB. Yeah. QB's a special man. That's true. I, I would pay I would pay a good price for a good QB. QB is fabulous and wonderful. I want to go this way. Oh, a treasure box. A little bit of tea. I also want to start investigating. If we see any D-rank yokai around, I'll be sure to take a look at who it is. But for now... Oh, a couple of items. Small export. Nice. Fish bait. Nice. 
for now, we have got a side quest. Alright. So it looks like this guy's got ran off with a comic book. Does everyone even use fate in these games? I mean, I used some black syrup at the start. Oh, but here's our main quest, it looks like. Flying plate? Come on, at least tell me you saw a flying saucer. Alright. So it looks like these women might have seen a kappa. Hmm. Use the lens by the riverbank. Okay. But first I am going to talk to this side quest here. Because this guy's just straight up a thief. Still think it's hilarious that the traditional weakness of Kappas is to fart on them? Is it? I thought... I thought with Kappas you had to bow to them, and that would make them bow back because they are by their nature respectful. And, they, and the water on top of their heads um, would, you know, spill out, and that would, that would be what weakened them. Is it actually farting on them? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I was bowing at them. He pouted no one. You either trick them to tip their bowls or fart on them as they try to get your shield Kodama. True. Okay, interesting. I, I didn't know both of those were a thing. I haven't heard of the farting before now either. That's a really, well, it's slightly interesting fact, yeah. Okay, so we got Peckpock here, which is definitely the one responsible for... You want to send a painting on Discord? Uh, hold on. In my Discord? Uh... What kind of painting is it? But if you think about missing Clappas, you can simply tense your entire body. Yeah, that's certainly fair. Uh, what kind of painting is it, though, Azoro? No looking Japanese thing? Yeah, that's sure. You can, you can go ahead and send that. Uh, that would just go in the general for now. You can just send that in general. I should probably make a stream chat kind of channel for things pertaining to the active stream that's going on. Shouldn't I? I pro I'll probably make that after the stream, but for now you can just put that in general and I'll move it later if I need to. Alright, Peck Pocket and a couple of boohoo. Let's get rid of them. Can I help but think of Ghostwire Tokyo now? You had to help out the spirit of a kid who got a Shiro Kodama yanked by a Kappa. Huh. Ghostfire Tokyo.
Oh, what I what is it, Azuril? You're reading the Kappa entry on Wikipedia, and one of the ways to fend off Kappa is to straight up rip its arms off? Wow, okay. That's, uh... I feel like you would prefer that method of dealing with them, wouldn't you, Bluggy? I feel like that would certainly be your style. <laughs> Well, somehow I don't think the Kappa we're looking for is going to be malicious enough to warrant such things. Alright, quest complete. like staking a vampire through the heart that would work on just one thing i'm inclined to agree with you i'm inclined to agree with you okay what's our bonus scene gonna be this time all right we got a success nice you got another strength talisman very nice okay so back to scanning this riverbank here we have a reaction from this flower. This suspiciously placed flower. That is actually Walkappa. Indeed, this is the Kappa that we happen to be looking for. Seeming really tired. Ah, you two can see me? Who are you? No gappa. I don't know. I was training really hard for the next kappa swim meet. I got so wrapped up in my training that I kind of forgot to eat. I'm starving, but I'm so weak. If only I could get my hands on some fish. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, if only I could eat some fish. But I'm so hungry, I can't even move. If someone could catch me a fish, I'd do just about anything for them. <laughs> I'm not going to kick him into the river. <laughs> Did you read anything about kappas and passive-aggressive tendencies? I'm not going to kick him into the river. He's still my friend. He's a, he's a sweet kappa boy. And he gave us a fishing rod. Ain't that nice. Indeed. Yeah, well, kappa is a weirdo, but kappa stands with like fish, sushi, and peach pizza like some kind of freak. I like him. He's a friend. And I'll give him wherever he, I'll give him whatever he wants. But yes, indeed. We have a fishing minigame. Much like the bug catching in trees, we can now fish by the side of rivers, and it works pretty much the same way. Uh but there's a yokai here, not a fish. Uh so I'm not gonna go and Oh Kappa deserves to be dissociated from Kappa, it's true. Oh, that's a uh, grass patch, not bugs. Okay. Where is the fishing spot? Bro, Twitch auto correct Kappa this is it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so, much like before, yep, we just gotta hit these marks. It's pretty much kind of random. As before, if we use fish bait, we can increase the number of marks. But, I don't think we need to do that for these tutorial fishes. 
I think we should be fine just... Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Okay, we missed that one. Uh, apparently there's something else here. Oh, it's an item. Okay. We got another dancing star. You're glad they made fishing more unique. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do much fishing in any of the games, really. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see how that how that plays out. Okay, there's a yokai here. Well, we don't want that. Not this time, at least. We want more fish. Where's all the fish? There they are. You just fished a farm stuff for Jungle Hunter? That's fair. That's fair. No! We missed another one. Damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna go and give this one two extra marks just to make sure we get it. He didn't want to grab money. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, it's also something I kind of want to avoid doing if possible. Okay, that was a catfish, not a carp. There's another item here. Getaway plush. Uh, and a fish here. Okay. Okay, so that's two out of three. Let's see then come back here to get a third maybe yeah in general grinding is something I want to avoid doing as much as possible uh, whether it's money or levels But for that, I'm going to lead to more using passwords than, you know, repeating the fishing minigames or bug catching. Because QR codes will give us pretty much everything we need that isn't provided by the game itself. Anyway, we've got our carp. Let's see what Walt, let's see what Nogappa desires from us now. Hoping you'd surprise me with sashimi, but that's okay. All right, looks like we've made another friend and gotten their medal. Wakapa. Wakapa. Wak wak. As always, for the story ones and the ones we use on our team, we've got Bald Spot, Walter, Wildy, and Green Hat. I think he should be called Wally. Hmm. You know what? One of the random random names given was Walter. So what if we what if we do a little bit of a funny haha and go with go with the meme relevance here? What if we call this this little uh cutie here? Oh, we can't we can't use the period. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> He'll be Mr. White now, because I feel like it. He's also blue, which does fit, sort of. Alright, a 
up to Catfish Pond we go, which is in the north of town. Just over here, we can grab it along the way. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with this one. Maybe we can finish it quickly before we proceed up to Mount Wildwood again. Ah, all right. It's this bunch. A new challenge. Okay. Hidden in a tucked away lot under red under two wheels. Okay. Now, where is that? It's a hidden area just to the right. Okay. Because there is actually a specific area called the tucked away lot in this game. I just didn't I just didn't remember quite where it was. Also, where is this reaction that we're getting suddenly? Is it over there? It is. Okay, it's the mailbox. We'll ping that for, for later then. So let's go and talk to this one that we just found for a second. And they gave us pot stickers. Nice. Three items always good. Now the tucked away lot though. Um, tells me it's up here. In this area of the map. Oh, there's a request here. Go three coma zero for me. Uh, I don't think we can actually. Uh, it, but can we see? Oh, well, thirty. No, thirty. Right, aren't we? If they're if they're up here in this mansion, then yes, I actually want to uh, do so quite quite immediately. And there's also a watch lock in there that we can access now, which I'm realizing is probably a priority too. Um, but the tucked away lot. Okay. Delta, do you happen to remember where it is? Uh, we're looking for the tucked away lot, which is apparently in this area. Is, is this here actually? Oh, it is. Okay. This is actually what we're looking for. We've got Rough Raff in the way. I forgot this place was called the tucked away lot. It's useful. So we've got to we've got to clear this fight. Yeah, you were gonna say it's right next to me. I just wasn't sure which specific like um, alleyway sort of area was the one I was looking for because I didn't take note of the name the first time I came here.
Anyway, this is the, this happens to be the exact area we're looking for. In the tucked away lot, under red, between two wheels. And is there anything else for us here? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. I'm gonna leave then. There's actually a bunch of quests all over here. Let's pick them all up. Oops. Oh. Hold on. Goodbye. So it looks like we've got another yokai problem with people getting burglarized. Oop. So that goes back there to the other part of town. Let's grab the side quest that's up here first. Or actually there's three of them. A D rank yokai up here. Which one is it? Let's see. Oh, it's Signable. There we go. Yeah, there's the one that was mentioned earlier. Uh, let's see if we can find out. Oh, don't leave. Don't don't run away. Hold on. Never really was too good at tracking these guys. Uh, what is their favorite though? I want to try and I want to try and get a hold of one. Let me go back to my uh, document here. Signable wants rice balls. Okay, I've got a couple of those, so let's try and recruit one. Doesn't seem like we have one that'll give a lot of recruitment boost, but little is a little. Throw at everyone just in case we be... just to make sure we get the best chance, and let's see what happens. And we don't get a recruit. Dang it! Of course. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, down these stairs we go. What do we have here? Okay, he wants some plum rice balls. Let's go here and grab them. Because we just kind of used all of the ones we had. We'll get a couple of these more too here. Thank you. 
We got another jackpot with this one. Nice. Medium explode. Alright then. Uh, last quest we can see is up here. So let's make sure to grab that too. And what is this yokai? We have... Oh, this one. Okay, I don't want this one. Oh, you don't know what the orb does? It's experience points. Um, basically. Experience points condensed into item form. Uh, we've got small ones which give 50. And medium ones which give 500. I'm gonna give the medium one to... Obviously my best friend here. For a couple of levels. And let's use this one to edge Yuki a little closer to a level up. Also, what what are these? Well, they can be fused. Okay, so these are a fusion item. Uh, what's the other one then? What's this one? Draws enemy attacks, lowers defense. Huh. Interesting. Don't know why we would want that. Oh, we got the spell bell. Okay, I forgot that we had that. Um, that I want to give to. Who do I want to give that to? Do I want to give that to Yuki? No, because you are more strength based, aren't you? Is a cheese strat to get the biggest EXP or in infinite amounts, but it relies on the yokai cam? Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, with how strange the camera was acting before, I don't think we'll be able to use that. Uh, we can do some code. We can do some passwords, though. That'll probably give us a few. Uh, I just don't really want to use those like right at the start of the game because that's even more broken than cranking for X S rank, you know. At least if we do the cranking for these yokai, we have to train them from the start. Uh, but I think I actually will give this in case, in case Jabani needs fire type attacks. And this I will give to you. Okay. Okay, speed plus 10, lightning defense plus water defense, speed plus 18. Okay. Uh, you are for spirit, so that's what I want to give you. Most of, most of not anything. Removes all the challenge in the game. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, not that a game like this is really meant to be, you know, a serious challenge. Um, compared to Pokemon, you know, I'd, I'd say this one is by its own nature just way more unbalanced. But. I still think that, you know, immediately dropping, I think, I think the Holy Ones are what, 20,000 experience? Um, so yeah, that's going to be a ton of levels right at the start, and I don't want to do that. Anyway, we've got a quest here that we can, looks like we can do this instantly. Of course, much like with any quest, yokai are to blame. So let's see, where is this one at? Ah, it's over here. We found the yokai blockade. Blow away, you found me. All right. You get five of them for every round of doing the yokai cam exploit? Wow, okay. Yeah, that is, that is a ton. That is a ton. Okay, obviously can't recruit these guys. So let's take them down.
these guys have got me with the gradual HP decrease, which I don't like. I'm gonna try and remove that. And these guys also have a, a skill that mimics sturdy, uh, so they'll kind of hold on at one HP for the first for the first time. It does slow down the battle a little bit, but it's no big deal. Bonus scene, will it break us? This one again. Oh, it is a success. Another regular success. There we go. Medium EXP orb. Very nice. Uh, we can, if I can hit the right button, let's, uh, let's plonk that right away into... Yeah, why not? The jackpot is quite cute, yes. It just kind of explodes in all of their faces for unknown reasons. Another signable. I could go for that, but I'm not too interested. What I want to do more so is actually go over here. Because if I recall, there's a quest over here that we can do, which is actually inside the temple. It doesn't show us right away. It's Mr. Zen. And he can tell us about Yokai Fusion, which is actually something I'm quite interested in getting going. The Luma and Bochisma, okay. So I've got to go find those two. Okay, Machismo is on the hidden temple path. Daluma is in Uptown Springdale, of course. So let's try and get this one first. Oh, that's just a panel. Never mind. Actually, no. I don't even want to use my soul summon on these guys. They're not worth it. There, is, there we go. I forgot there was a fast forward button for this for a second. Good that I remembered. Good that I remembered it. Oh. The really strong yoke that you can get once you unlock fusion? Um, I mean... Yeah, maybe, probably. I, I, I remember most, if not all, the yokai from this game, so I'm sure I'll remember it in due time. I just kind of want to take this game at my own pace again, you know, even though I remember most of it already. But I am more... Oh, it's gone now. Oh, dang it. Before that pandal attacked us, I saw something up here that I was going to point out, but it's gone now. Oh, 
Got another rusty ring. Okay. Uh, what about here? Is this C rank? It is. Okay. I'm curious if I come back in here. Maybe it... Yeah. I'm curious though. I want to try and go through here again and see if I can find them without getting caught. Okay, it doesn't seem like they were there. We've got Mangy Mutt this time. Okay, we'll speed through this battle again. Oh, okay. We got a mange mutt right off the bat. Sure. Mangy mutt. And let's check out the random names, even though probably not gonna end up using them. We got Mangrel, Charlie, Shock Dog, and Manoodle. Okay. You are definitely a shady character, or an eerie character, rather. You are also one of the seals in our medallion. He does look like a Frank, doesn't he? I would think that's accurate too. Okay, so we can't do anything over here. Um, I guess we'll have to just try and reload the area again. Because there was something here that I wanted to point out and it's disappeared now. Because I'm guessing it disappears if you don't immediately interact with it. Oh, hey, what, what is it, Vano? No, I don't see it here. rank gate where you encountered battle yes there was indeed and i did have that in the back of my mind i've just kind of gotten suddenly sidetracked with wanting to find this thing again i am curious about that too mostly because we need to go back to that mansion for uh, one of the quests we picked up oh hey there's the guy we're looking for okay what is your favorite food you like You like rice ball. Okay. I'll give you one of these then. We'll target target you first. Because we don't really care about you that much. Okay, target you next. And then we'll use an item on the other one as well. I also need to pick up one of these guys for the fusion quest, so I'll make sure to try and do that if I can as well. Alright, got a little item. And we get the recruit. Mochismo. 
Okay, we'll look at your random names. We got Bubuff, Greg, Chewy, and Kanchu. But I think I can just call you Mochi. Because you are food. And you are part of the Brave Tribe. And also a seal in our medallion, which is quite quickly filling up here, actually. Or at least this particular page is. Now, did you appear this time? You did. Okay, so this is what I wanted to point out before. Up here, you can see there's a small little snake, it looks like. Uh, but this one is one that runs away from us. A very slippery Tsuchinoko, or Noko. And your favorite food is hamburgers. Okay. So let's go and try and get this one. Let's see if we're lucky. I want to immediately get into the fight, immediately target you, and then put an item. Don't kill him yet. That's important. Don't kill him. We do have a burger. Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can get lucky. All right, now destroy them all. Because Noko is really cute. We love Noko. also get a lot of experience which is very useful too and we didn't get the recruit darn well that's fine uh, let's fight this guy and see if he'll come back Nah, we only had we only had like the second tier of burger which is pretty low on the uh, recruitment boost spectrum so I'm not surprised we didn't get him right away but Little bummed, little bummed. We'll, we'll get him though. As soon as we get access to being able to buy burgers too, I'm sure we'll have tons of ability to pick one up. Cause he is only E rank Noko. Um, he's quite, he's quite one, he's quite one of the lower ends, but he's cute, and I like cute. Okay, didn't appear. That's fine. We're going to go back up here then, and I'll take one more look, but if he's not here this time, we'll just continue on. I don't see him. No. Okay. Okay, we'll destroy these guys right quick. And then, yeah, let's go take it. Let's go check out the watch lock that is ranked D. We can open that. And maybe we'll get ourselves some new yokai that are cute around that area. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's time to continue our main quest in a minute. We need to go. To, we need to go back to the first area of town here. And get ourselves a Daluma. Is four bucks a good idea to spend at once on 24 to 36 medals right now? I mean, yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. I would, cer I would certainly pick that up myself if I could. So this little girl's family got lost. We've got a couple of places we can go and look for them. Oh, there's a favor up here. Did we not pick that up?
Three cucumbers? Okay. Right, so... I'll order a bulk for this week since you don't have school next week. Nice, nice. Yeah, go ahead. I would get them. Oh, this guy, yeah, that's why I wanted the Komajiro. Right, right. Okay, what yokai do we find here? It's a D rank, so I'm kind of curious about it. Oh, is that Baku again? It is a Baku, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's just a Baku. We already got one in the story, so we don't need another one. What I'm more curious about is what's over here. There's a whole new area of the mansion opened up to us now, and I'm already seeing a yokai we haven't seen yet. Which is up here. And just like that, there is the Komajiro we're looking for. As you can see, he's, he's one of the ones in the background. That's what his name is. He likes milk. So, let's get into battle. Target? No, don't kill him yet. No, don't actually kill him. No. Okay. That could be a problem with the auto-attacking thing. If they kill him before it targets, or before I can target, we're kind of... No chance of giving him an item. Well, the other one we have here is Helmsman as well. Uh, he can be part of a fusion. So if we get that one by chance, that's fine as well. Also, it doesn't matter if a yokai gets defeated in battle. Uh, they will revive, I think, automatically, in fact. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, you're back at 1 HP. Okay, so let's just give you a little... Uh, Let's give you just 20 sandwiches. There we go. Yeah, yokai revive automatically. Um, we can use items to revive them during battle if we need to. Um, but yeah, that's really no big deal. Okay, let's, okay, oh, actually, here's the other guy. Okay, so this is Armsman. Uh, so we can fuse those two basically into one Pokemon, or one yokai rather, later on. Uh, we can send before battle. Does it automatically target the one I want, though? Priority goes favorite food, middle yokai, left yokai, if middle dislikes it. Right yokai, if other two hate it. Okay, so, yeah, this one should go directly to Komajiro. Then. Okay, perfect. We can do that, then. All right. I didn't know there was actually a priority with those, um, but that's good to know. That's good to know. A lot of those, like, actual mechanic, like mechanics kind of information about the game that's all stuff i haven't really researched and stuff i didn't i might not know so you're definitely free to tell me about that if i'm curious uh that's actually good information is basically what i'm saying had to learn that for hunting plastina jabanyo is not really strong no But I mean, you know, compared, when you're comparing him to the other two that he's in front with, they're both S rank, and he's only like a C rank, I think. So, you know, the ranking is a lot of, the ranking does contribute a lot to the to the power difference. Jabonyon can also evolve. That's true. Like here, let's let's take a look for a second, actually, at our party here. So yeah, you've got. A Cerulean, whose spirit is 74, and Jabonyon, whose attack is 30. The spirit is 60 because of the item I have, or the equipment I gave him. Um, but otherwise, yeah, he's pretty, um, pretty weak overall. He does have a, not, a, a skill that isn't bad, but S ranks are just powerful. Yeah, that's basically the uh, fact of it here, you know. S ranks are just stronger than the rest. Like, you can look at the strength of this one here. Level 14, his strength is 46. Level 15, his strength is 30. There's just that much of a power difference, you know? I mean, even this one, their B rank and their strength is 52. 
If his is only 60 with assistance. The level 1 Shadow Orochi with first boss of 2. And he carry? Yeah. Yeah. S ranks are just that powerful. You know, you have to respect it. Skill yeah, the skills too. They also they also buff power quite a bit. Okay, let's fight a couple more of these guys. We want to find more of Komajiro. Because I'm not going to stop until we get the recruit. You're afraid of using S rank for first playthroughs? Yeah, that's fair. This isn't my first playthrough though, so I'm just kind of using my favorites. As soon as I can get them, they'll be added to the team as I see fit. And Frostdale definitely ranks on the list. Frostdale is a favorite. I think they're the only one of my current team that I would really consider keeping until the end of the game. I mean, Edgy Heart's great as a healer, but I don't think they'll be my favorite, or my final healer. Pinned Yokai override all priority, it's true. Yeah, they do actually, yeah. The problem is getting to battle and they attack the Yokai I'm trying to, uh, you know, pin and give an item to right away, then I can't even do that for them. So we'll just use the uh, priority that it currently has and try to give them some milk until they join me. You had reverse up right as your healer? Yeah. She's a good one too. Not my favorite though. I'm not sure actually what my favorite healer is. I'd have to examine all the options first probably. Ooh, we got a good... Good item there. Good item from that wish. My team will evolve and change as I go through the game, I'm sure. I definitely want to show as many of the yokai off as possible um, during each of, you know, my playthroughs of these games. Because a lot of them just have really nice, really nice designs. If you didn't have a healer, made the in-game a total pain. I sympathize. You gotta have a healer. It's basic RPG party tech, you know. You've got to have the healing. And we didn't get him again. Damn. You have a dumb strategy for Snartle in 3 from learning how Inspirits work. Well, if we ever... When we get around to Yokai Watch 3, I'm actually... I'm, I'd be curious about how that works then, yeah. But for now, I think Snartle's a long way off. Full team of six? Cool. What's that? Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I'd have to investigate that. I'd have to investigate that. Anyway, we didn't get a Komajiro this time, which is a little bit infuriating. But it, it, it's fine. We can just continue through this battle. hitting the wrong button over there. I meant to hit purify and get that done, but that's fine. We got bonus experience from the wisp anyway. We got a skill level up for Jabonia. Snarl became less threatening as time went on, never beat him one. Got him at D rank in two and beat him at E on three. Interesting, yeah. I don't know when I'm gonna fight Snarl myself. I'd probably still get thrashed in my current state, so probably won't be for a little bit. But once we get like, uh, you know, a full team of S ranks and we start you know, training them up nice. Um, I definitely think we'll be able to get them pretty well. Handled easily. Yeah, he does. Because I think, I think Snarl's probably going to be on my team, actually, once I get a hold of him. So... Just because of how like blatantly strong he is, I probably want to use him. He 
is. He's funky. He's funky. Okay. Well, we didn't get any Komajiro, but we did clear. We did clear through and beat three of them, uh, as we needed to here. Come on. Where is this door? Why can't we get through? Where am I supposed to go here? You believe you suck the most bot sites? Yeah, that's fair. But you know, a game like this is not exactly a huge challenge. So it's usually just one enemy, yeah. But you know, a game like this isn't like again, it's not a hugely challenging one. So you're meant to be able to get through the game with pretty much anything you want to. Which is something I like, you know? The meta strats are thrown out the window. They don't exist. Okay, there's probably a hole down to the lower floor. Yeah, it's just it's just meant to be a fun game. Oh, we got a blank chair. Okay. It's just meant to be exactly that, a fun game. Komachiro. Komachiro, join me. My baby. Take my last milk. I love you, baby. Okay, target. Target the wheat. The outline. And once I bonk them, I'll see if I have an item that, like, hopefully Komajiro doesn't hate. Okay, Yokai will like you a lot. Um, do you know what Komajiro, you, you know what Komajiro's hated food is? Um, because I want to give, I want to give the other one something that likes a lot. Even if it's not their favorite, so like a bamboo, is it bamboo shoot or candy? I have a feeling you wouldn't hate fruit drops, maybe I'll give you that. Okay, yeah, so that's just neutral. Good. Give him the gummies, yeah. Okay, come on. Join me, Komajiro. Boo! Dang it. No luck, huh? Okay, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Our way out of here. I'll probably come back here and get one off stream if I can. Send medallion pages in the server. Um, if there's 13 pages, um, why don't you go? Why don't you go make an imager album of each each of the photos, and then just send that link? Because that'll that'll just send them so I can look at them, you know, on the website instead of in Discord. That's what I would recommend doing, at least. Making an imager album. Never used imager before? It's easy. Just If you have the files on your computer or whatever, just drag and drop them, and it'll automatically upload all 13. Uh, it's easy to use. You don't need a profile or anything. Just a quick image share kind of thing. Google Drive? Yeah, that works too. A bit slower than imager, but that works fine. Oh, he broke his orb. Poor Draggy. Draggy, no. Sad moment. Okay, so up here, we have a quest here that we have to turn in, actually. I 
which is, of course, the detective club. We got Walkappa! Oh no. His chips were stolen by a bird. Sad moment. Sad moment. I don't know, Azuril, truthfully. We've, we kind of have... We kind of have a knack for just getting, like, streaks of certain results. You know, because... When we were doing chests, we were doing quests all in like part one and everything. Um, we'd get all these successes, all these jackpots in a row and even. But now it just seems like our luck has kind of run out. <laughs> um, anyway, I've kind of, kind of gotten distracted. We're looking for a Deluma. Okay. And that is, yeah, behind, I think they're behind a fish shop, right? Oh, wow, there's actually so many quests. Yeah, we got two, we got so many jackpots in a row in the first part, and we're still getting them like every now and then. But oof. okay, so that's part of our quest. And there's a new one right here. Okay, and we're looking for a tasty mushroom for her. Got it. I'm getting distract I'm getting distracted by all these side quests because I want to do as much as possible. for Deluma somewhere around here and it's not going to be in trees I know that much could it be in this grassy patch though no that's a different one okay maybe they'll have a Deluma beside them if we start the battle here keep forgetting which events are exclusive to one and two Deluma can be under cars yeah I think maybe vending machines as well I don't know. I just wanted to show this one off because they're a really well-known yokai. This is No Way, also known as Murikabe. Uh, I think they like... Do they like rice balls? I don't know. That's just neutral, though. Okay. What do they actually like? They like ramen. Got it. Manga Murakami? Oh, okay. I, I don't think I've read any of the manga yet. Might have to, though, if there's quite an interesting character. Quite an interesting character in Murakami there. Uh, but if he's under cars, then yeah, we'll go look at those. First and foremost. Might also be under vending machines, though. If I remember, they could also be here. Oh, no, that's Dimmy. We've got to fight those. Okay. We gotta fight these dimmy, so let's take care of this. You got Slash. You got Slash and have my Bushing on. Dude survived through sheer power of no. I love that. I love that for him. I definitely I definitely should read the manga though. If it's that if, if it's that well if it's that cool. Let's skip through this battle because there are three dimmy right here for us to defeat. Sounds amazing, it does. I'll have to look that up. Man, I just love I just love this whole franchise. I just love Yokai Watch as a whole. You know. The medals are great, the games are great, the manga sounds amazing. This game this franchise is just wonderful. 
And I'm hoping, still, one day we'll get Yokai Watch 4 in the West. I I'm still clinging to hope, you know, every every time a Nintendo Direct rolls around, I'm, th I'm hoping that I'll see it. Cut in half by one of the greatest swordsmen of all time, but survived by simply saying no. You just, just say no, and you won't die. And that happens in Volume 2, wow. Okay, are you... You're a dimmy. Okay. Well, you have a Daluma beside you, though, because you're under a car. All we need is a single Daluma. And if this guy has one beside him, that's good. Okay. Don't. Same one where Caden dies and becomes a zombie? Wow. This manga sounds a little bit out there, huh? Well, don't go spoiling the whole thing, because I, I want to read it myself later. Another Demi. Okay, I don't need that. Another Demi. Okay. I'm gonna look it up then because I'm tired of finding these jokers. Town Springdale under vending machines and cars. Okay, so I am looking in the right place. But also in desolate rain. Okay. You gotta leave for school? That's fine. Take care and have a good day. If you've gotta be focusing in school, don't watch my stream. That's not a good idea, and I can't endorse that. Is the desolate lane the one that's down here? Behind the fishmongers? Because if it is, then that's where I'm going to go and look. It's also this. Catfish bomb. You only want a normal one. Okay. So that's another reason to go to Catfish Pond. But for now, let's see. Is this the Desolate Lane? No, it's Shady Back Alley. Is there Daluma here? I think there is, isn't there? Well, there's droplets. I guess if we have a chance, we can def we can catch a droplet. You're off to bed? Okay. You know what? Honestly, I think I might end the stream soon, actually. Um, I've been going for quite a while, and I'm actually getting kind of hungry. I think I want some dinner soon. So, might do that. I'll go and find a save point down here, and then, yeah, probably gonna end the- uh, probably gonna wrap things up for today and send what little viewers I have off to a raid. Let's save the game, and for now, that will be all for this part of Yokai Watch 1. I'm definitely excited to continue things, and next time, uh, or for the next stream, rather, I'll definitely have more uh, passwords prepared or more QR codes that I can use um, to bring in more cool items and more cool coins for the Cranky Guy. Um, but for now, that will be all. Uh, so goodbye and good night, everyone. And if you're over on YouTube watching this, make sure to follow me on Twitch at Mouse Plays Games. 
I'm happy to see everyone in my streams. I enjoy talking with people. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you one of my... So hopefully I'll see you one of these days. Take care, everyone.